Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today we have an important video that's requested by many of you as I'll be comparing two of the most broken guns in the game right now. The Fennec with this build and the Mac 10 with this build. So we'll check the damage and the hipfire accuracy of both guns then I'll share my personal opinion on them after using them for a while to try and decide which one is better. And after that we'll watch an intense Alcatraz game that had some decent action in it. Before we start, I want to take a minute from your time. So you know, sometimes you come back from work or school and hopping caught trying to relax and relieve some stress, only to get owned and melted by those sweaty shotgun players and Mac 10 abusers. It's painful, I know, because I've been there. And instead of relieving stress, you end up even having more of it. So I'll tell you guys about an awesome game where you can actually relax and relieve some stress. And it's called Mech Arena. It's a third person PvP online game where you can build your own mechs, equip them with your favorite guns and even paint them with your favorite colors that matches your character and playstyle. And the best part about it, you can team up with your friends and have fun together. But my favorite part about the game is the variety of mechs you can choose from and each mech has a unique ability. For example, Lance over here can jump around to take key positions across the map and use them to flank the enemies. While Paragon has speed ability to help him capture bases fast or dodge bullets easier. So you can use these abilities to come up with so many different strategies with your team to help you win the game. The game also cares a lot about their players as they keep adding new content, including the new pilot option which has 12 unique pilots to choose from. And each one comes with a set of skills that makes your mix even more powerful. In addition, Mech Arena also has a lot of events going on. And this time especially is a good time to join because this month they're hosting a special Easter egg and golden week event where you can join and earn in-game rewards. So download it now, it's free and available for both iOS and Android devices. And if you use my link or scan the QR code, you will get a free starter pack that's worth $45, which includes a Sea Reaper skin, 500 acorns and 70,000 credits. Also, feel free to add me in-game using my ID, and I'll see you guys there. Before we start the comparison, I want to go through the Mac 10 build real quick. So this is the build that I chose. And I'm sure some of you are curious on why I chose the Cavalry Barrel, which has the lowest damage range. To answer your question, the Mac 10 has four damage attachments shown right here, ranging from 10% to 25%. And it doesn't matter which one you choose because all of them will give you the exact same damage boost within 20 meters range, which is the ideal range for SMGs. So it's up to you. I went with the Cavalry Barrel for the crazy bullet speed boost. And because unlike the task force and the extended barrels, it doesn't have any negative sprint speed. Another two important attachments, first of all, the laser. And this is a no-brainer. You always want to go with the combat laser for that insane 40% accuracy boost. In return, I'm sacrificing ADS time, which doesn't really matter, because I always use it with hip fire. Second of all, the mag. And I think this is up to you again. But I recommend either the 53 round mag or the 43 fast reload. The first one has bigger mag and the second one has faster reload speed. And I went with the first option and the bigger mag. As for the last two attachments, I went with the Swift Stock and the Red Cell Foregrip. And together, they gave me minus 30% sprint to fire delay, which can give me a tiny head start over the enemy. Now that's out of the way, let's move on to the comparison, starting with the fire rate. The Fennec finally loses the fastest fire rate title to the Mac 10 after holding it for many seasons. So the Fennec has 1140 rounds per minute, while the Mac 10 fires at 1200 rounds per minute. Next, we have the killing time. And keep in mind that this test is done against an enemy with 300 HP. So at 10 meters range, the Mac 10 wins in three different areas. But keep in mind that the Fennec wins in the chest and abdomen areas, which are both critical because that's where most players usually aim. After that, we have the killing time at 20 meters range. And this is where the Mac 10 obliterates the Fennec, not only winning again in three areas, but also if you notice in the chest area, the difference is only one this time, which is nothing really. So overall, when it comes to the killing time, honestly, both guns are broken, but I have to go with the Mac 10. 
After that, we have the hipfire comparison. And this was a bit surprising. As you can see here, I'm switching between both guns, but the crosshairs remains the same without any change in size. Which means both builds I made have the exact same hipfire accuracy. But overall, I think the Fennec is easier to control and aim, especially beyond 10 meters. There are another two things worth comparing. First of all, the mobility. I actually haven't tested this, but after using them for a very long time, I feel like the Fennec has better overall mobility, especially in the strafing speed. So it can be more efficient against shotgun enemies and other SMG users. And finally, we have the mag size and the reload speed. Both are things you can control with the build, but for the builds I made, the Mac 10 has bigger mag size, but the Fennec has slightly faster reload speed. So that was the comparison, and now it's up to you to decide. For me, I think the Mac 10 is better, but I don't think it will last long because it's dominating in both multiplayer and battle royale. And I'm sure they will nerf it soon, just like they nerfed the MX9. Then the Fennec will be back on top again. Now to the final part of the video which is the gameplay. Sadly I didn't get the Mac 10 loadout in the start because it's really hard to loot airdrop. But I got it eventually near the end. And it's enough to demonstrate the power of the Mac 10. I hope you guys enjoyed. Not much I could have done there, I ran out of ammo and my teammate bailed on me, but it's okay. Early game deaths doesn't really matter much. Enemy down. I forgot to mention the best mods for this gun in the start, but it's the same as always for SMGs. I go with an extender mod, followed by a hipfire mod, and a range mod. And if I'm lucky and find a golden ADS mod, then I always go for it and replace it with the range mod. Drop it. Find the hacker near the online. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God.
The air drop is coming. I played a little bit safe in the end because the circle was extremely small and I believe both enemies had shotguns and they can one shot me as soon as I go down. But my teammate made a clutch play there throwing the cluster grenade as it gave us an easy win. As for the enemies they could have easily went down the stairs not only to avoid the cluster grenades but also to take cover behind the wall and one tab us as soon as we come down. I hope you guys found this video useful and I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. And if you did then a like would be highly appreciated. Also consider sharing it with your friends to help them decide which SMG to choose. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.